Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Kathy at Sturgis Public Library. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, and it's time for a toddler preschool time. Toddler preschool time. Oh my goodness, it's Wednesday. It's time for toddler story time. Yesterday, we did preschool story time, and it was February 2nd, Groundhog's Day. And I challenged everybody to go outside and look for some shadows. Did any of you guys go, go out and see some shadows yesterday? If not, do it today, because today's another great day for shadows. When I look out the window right now, I can see the shadows of the railing. I can see the shadows from the um, parking cones out by the street. They make these nice long shadows. I noticed my car shadows this morning again, coming into town, coming into work. And I noticed the um, electrical post shadows out in the fields. Oh, so many fun shadows. I wanted, I'm hoping I'll get to see a bird shadow someday. With the birds flying overhead. I've been seeing some eagles out. It would be great to see an eagle shadow. But anyway, that was all yesterday. Today, toddler story time. Let's get started. We'll start with our hello song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. And yesterday might have been Groundhog's Day, but today is also a special fun day we can celebrate. It's Feed the Birds Day. Do you have any birds that fly around in your yard? Do you have any bird feeders that you've put out bird seed for the birds to be able to have a snack in the wintertime? I don't have one in my house because I have too many cats and they just chase the birds away. So I don't get to have bird feeders at my house, but I think it would be fun to have a bird feeder and see what birds are hanging out in my yard. Well, we're gonna start with a finger play that we have done many times. I hope you remember it. It's about two little blackbirds named Jack and Jill. Can you do it with me? Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. <gasps> Did you remember that one? Well, I'm going to do it again, but this time we're going to do it with the sign language for bird. Now, last week we did penguins. And we found out the sign language was putting your palms down by your hips. If I stand up and do this, you're not going to be able to see. But you waddle, waddle, waddle like a penguin. A penguin is a bird. The week before that, we did rubber duckies. And we found out the sign language for ducky was to take your pointer and your middle finger, put them together, turn them down, put these fingers under, these two together, make your beak, and your rubber duck says quack, quack. And I said at that time it was important to know that you needed the two fingers to make the duck quack, quack. And here's why. Because bird is almost like duck. But instead of two fingers, you just do your pointer finger. All these other fingers are curled up to your palm. You have your pointer finger and your thumb. And that becomes your beak, which is the best way to do it. So this would be bird. And birds go tweet. So instead of two fingers going duck, quack, quack, we have one finger and the thumb. I can't figure out how to do this right. And it's bird, tweet, tweet. Let's try, can you make two birds? Pointer fingers, thumbs, there's their beaks, tweet, tweet. Can we make these be our blackbirds? Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Come back, Jill. Tweet, tweet, tweet. There we go. We have our two birds. Well, we said they were blackbirds, and you know what color black is, right? I have some color cards today, and here is the black one. Whoops. It's a crayon that's the color black. And on my board, I have lots of birds sitting in the tree. I have a song to sing and we're going to have to find the birds that match our colors. This is black, so we'll be looking for the black bird. 
Let's see if I can sing the song. It goes to the tune of London Bridge, so I have to get it in my head. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Well, I'm changing the words. The words to the song goes, little black bird in the tree, in the tree, in the tree. Little black bird in the tree, sing me a song. So we have to find the black bird. That one's not a black bird. Ooh, that one's dark, but it's not the black bird. Does this one match my black crayon? Nope, that's not a black bird. Oh, here's another dark one. Does it match? No, it's not my black bird. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Here's my little black bird. It matches my black crayon. And what does a birdie say? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Good job, we got a match. Okay, I'm gonna put them right down here. Here comes our next color. Little red bird in the tree, in the tree, in the tree. Little red bird in the tree, sing me a song. Okay, I gotta match my colors. Does that match? Nope. My apple is red, but my bird is not red. How about down here? Does that match? No, my apple is red, but my bird is not red. Does this match? No, that's not the red bird. What about this one? No, not a red bird. <gasps> Let's try this one. Look, I think it's a match. We have my red apple and we have the red bird. They match. And the red bird says, tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, good job. This bird's trying to fly away on me. Let's put you back up there. Let's see, here's our next color. What color are we going to be looking for for our bird? It's the sun color, it's yellow. Little yellow bird in the tree, in the tree, in the tree. Little yellow bird in the tree, sing me a song. Well, you know what? I can see from here where my yellow bird is. I can match it up right there. Look at that. My yellow sun picture card and my yellow bird. There we go, they match. Okay, put them down there. Here's our next color. I gotta look at my screen. Oh, it's got some funny messages on there that I'm not ready for yet. Here's our next color. It almost looks like black, but I'm gonna get, can I get a little closer? It's not black, it's brown. Little brown bird in the tree, in the tree, in the tree, little brown bird in the tree, sing me a song. Okay, let's start down here. Do those two colors look the same? Nope, they don't match. Do these two colors look the same? Nope, they don't match. Do those two colors look the same? Nope, they don't match. But look at this. We found the brown bird. We found a match. Here's my brown crayon. Here's my brown bird. And the little brown birdie says, tweet, tweet, tweet. Thank you, brown bird, for being in our song. Okay, here's the next color. Do you know what this one is? Did you say purple? Because it is purple. We're gonna find the purple bird next. Little purple bird in the tree, in the tree, in the tree. Little purple bird in the tree, sing me a song. Well, I know my purple bird is in the upper part of the tree. Does that look the same? It's close, but not quite. Does this look the same? Because I only have these two birds in the upper tree. I think it is. I think it matches. We have purple grapes and we have a purple bird. They do match. And the purple bird is gonna sing tweet, tweet, tweet 
Oh, he's flying away this way. Tweet, 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 tweet. There we go, purple bird. Okay, next color. Ooh, this one's going to be in the bottom part of the tree. It's this color. The color of grass in the summertime. Do you know what color that is called? Green. Little green bird in the tree. In the tree. In the tree. Little green bird in the tree. Sing me a song. Okay, I said the green bird was in the bottom part of the tree. Here's the top part of the tree. Here's the bottom part of the tree. Does this bird look like the green grass? Nope. Does this bird look like the green grass? Yes, this would be my match. Green grass, green bird. Can I get them together? Oh, I still get so mixed up. There it is. And the green birdie is gonna say, do it, do it, do it. Thank you, green bird. There's only one, two birds left in our tree. I wonder which color is next. It's this one. Can you tell me what color that is? Orange, it's the orange bird. Little orange bird in the tree, in the tree, in the tree. Little orange bird in the tree, sing me a song. Okay, if I put this up here, they're not the same color. But if I put it on the second bird in the tree, guess what? They do match. There's my orange crayon. There's my orange bird. Oh, orange birdie, what do you say? Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Let me put him down and put my card down. There's only one birdie left, so he has to be the birdie that matches this color. What color is that? Put it in front of my face. Blue, it even matches the blue on my face shield. Little blue bird in the tree, in the tree, in the tree. Little blue bird in the tree, sing me a song. There's only the one bird left in the tree and look, it matches. I didn't do any, make any funnies on you. I didn't try to trick you today. Blue ribbon. Blue bird, they match. Blue bird says, tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, you guys are so good with the colors and knowing which bird was which. Thank you for singing the song with me. Let's see, I have to turn my page over. Oh, I'm gonna use these birds again, but not all of them. I have to take down my tree. I didn't get to make a flannel tree. So I colored a tree on paper and stuck it on the flannel board, but I'm gonna take it off because I don't need my tree for this next one. Before I get to those colored birds though, I have to do another poem. This is one I learned when I was helping with preschool and I forgot about it. It's about a little bird and we're gonna make our bird, remember our sign for bird? Pointer finger, thumb, others put under, Tweet, tweet. This is going to be our bird for our poem. I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. I told the little bird to stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do? He wagged his little tail and away he flew. Oh, my little bird. Can you try that one with me? Can you make the bird sign language? Make our bird. I don't remember, I don't, can't tell which is the best way to do it. Maybe this way. I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. I told the little bird to stop, stop, stop. I went to the window to say, how do you do? He wagged his little tail and away he flew. There goes my bird. Bird. Tweet, tweet. Okay. You could actually do it standing up and you could do the hopping and you could do the flying and fly around the room. 
But if I get up and do that, you're going to lose me. You're not going to be able to see me. That's why I don't get up and do it. But you could try it at home. Okay, now comes my next color poem with my birds again. And we're going to start with, oops, I forgot. I was going to use these guys. I was going to use my color pictures. What color is this one? Yes, it's blue. I have to find my blue bird. Here it is. One little bird with feathers of blue. <gasps> Flew beside. What color bird do I need now? Green. I need the green one. Flew beside the green one. And then there were, how many birds do I have up there? One. Two. Can you show me fingers? One, two. Two little birds singing in a tree. We'll pretend they're still in a tree. Two little birds singing in a tree. Then we need this color bird. What color is it? That's right. It's the red bird. The red bird came to join them. And then there were one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three little birdies wishing there were more. Along came this color bird. What is it? Purple. We need our purple bird. Along came a purple bird. Put it right up there. You know what, red bird? I'm going to turn you this way. Along came the purple bird, and now we got to count. How many birds are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four little birdies happy to be alive. They found a little. Good put up this color. <gasps> Tell me again. What color is it? They found a little yellow bird. Come on up here, yellow bird. And then there were one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, put my hand in there, five. Do you have up five fingers? Five little birds as happy as can be sing beautiful songs for you and me. And those sounds, songs sound like what? Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, those birdies are so happy. I wanted to tell you, when you get your grab-and-go bag with the, with the uh, pages in it with all the songs and stuff, there's also a website to go to. It's from the Department of Natural Resources through the state of Minnesota. And they have this really cute, I should have put it up on the screen, this really cute bird interactive there's all these birds in the tree that I believe probably are native to Minnesota. And if you click on the bird, it sings its bird song. You will hear more than just tweet, 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 tweet. You'll hear the morning dove. I can't even do a morning dove, can I? Woo, woo, woo. That sounds like an owl. But listen to the songs. I'll have, to have the website listed there. A lot of fun. Click on the birds and hear their songs. Okay, well. That's all my rhymes and songs for today. Now I want to show you some of the bird books we have at the library. If you like to read real things, eye openers, birds. There are ducks. Remember duck, two fingers, thumb, duck, quack, quack. There are kiwi birds. I've never heard of a kiwi bird. There are, ooh, ooh. Ooh, owls in this book. All kinds of fun things. Oh, where am I going to put you? I'm going to put you on the floor. All kinds of fun things to read about birds. This is a beautiful book by Ashley Wolf. A Year of Birds. We are in, what's our new month? We are in a new month. Did I even tell you we have a new month? They have a year of birds. We have winter, spring, summer, and fall. 
every month. Here's the birds for January. Here's our month of February. Oops, and look. Can I get it over here? It's a red bird. You can find out the birds for all the different months in this book. Beautiful book. I can tell you the red bird is called the cardinal. If you want to read more nonfiction about the birds, birds, nests, and eggs. This one's kind of a tough one. There's a lot of words in it, a lot of stuff. But you can read the pictures. Ooh, there's a red bird. Ooh, there's a red-winged blackbird. I can see some of them in South Dakota in the summertime. See if you can identify some of the birds. And ooh, look at their nests and their eggs. Fun book to learn about birds. This one I have on the list and I say it's more for the older readers. It's called For the Birds, The Life of Roger Tory Peterson. I included it on your list because look at the beautiful illustrations in this book. And this was on our South Dakota Prairie Pask book list for 2014 is what I've got down here. Beautiful illustrations. Find out about the man that studied the birds and made those illustrations. Then if you like to read fun ones, the baby BB bird. Oh, this baby BB bird is so noisy. And there is a really fun read aloud of it on YouTube. I put that on the sheet, told you which one of the, it's one of the teachers, I believe it's Mr. Gannon, Mr. Gannon's read alouds. Listen to him read this book. And then come to the library and check it out and see if you can do the same sounds he does. The baby BB bird. Um, another one. Oops, let's see. I have a lot of bird books here. Another fun one that I found on YouTube are the pigeon books. Do you know about Mo Willems and the pigeon books? The one I put on about YouTube is don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Oh, and then we have the pigeon needs a bath. And there's the pigeon stays up late. I know there's also the pigeon eats a hot dog. There's lots of pigeon books. We have some of these at the library. But check them out on YouTube, especially what the one I wrote down for the pigeon. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus because the woman that does the story read aloud is fabulous. I really enjoyed her. Then we have Hungry Bird. This is Feed the Birds Day, so, oh, I'm sure there are hungry birds out there. YouTube, I didn't find Hungry Bird, but I found Grumpy Bird. Find out why bird is so grumpy. And check out the Hungry Bird book from our library. <gasps> Franny, be cranny, there's a bird in your hair. What would you do if a bird made a nest in your hair? Would a bird ever wanna make a nest in your hair? if you comb it every day and take care of it. Here's one called a home for bird. And if you look, they've got him in a teacup with a balloon. I wonder what happens when they put bird in the teacup and tie it to a balloon. That would be a fun one to find out. And then I have The Bird House by Cynthia Ryland. It might be kind of a older story, but look. Oh, I have an obsession with owls. And that looks like, is it a crane or a heron? You could see so many fun bird pictures in so many books. So those are all listed in your grab and go bag. It's a brown bag and inside there, let me, open, let me pull it out. You have, I also, I also have an obsession with these I Spy pages. There's the I Spy birds. How many fun birds can you find? Here are the sheets that tell you, show you how to say bird in sign language. Tweet, tweet. Our two little black birds, our little red bird in the tree. I saw a little bird go hop, hop, hop. And one little red bird with feathers of blue. And right down here, Listen to bird songs at the website for the State of Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, Bird Song Interactives. Please go onto that, click on the birds and listen to those songs. And then I've got the list of the books in the library, the list of the fun YouTube sites. There's also 
Um, there's a bird on your head by Mo Willems. That's a piggy and elephant book. There's bird on your head. I put those on there. You can check out those fun read alouds. And for your craft, you're going to make a bird feeder. And in just a second, I'm going to show you. You can make a bird feeder with hearts. You can make a bird feeder with spirals. You can make a bird feeder out of an orange after you've eaten the orange. Some other fun ideas. Take an empty glass bottle, add a spoon and bird seed, or you can do it with an empty soup can. Oh, here's a really cool one. You can glue together a teacup on a plate and put some string on it to hang it up. And sensory bin ideas. They used crinkle brown paper and added all kinds of fun things for you to find for a bird sensory bin or if you're really brave, you can use actual bird seed and put lots of fun stuff in here. These are some ideas I found if you want to make one at home. And the Girl Scouts sent us a new page with a rocket on it, so I'm just putting that in there. Okay, those are the papers that you will find in your bag. You're also going to find, whoops, let me pull it out of here three of the pipe cleaners, and some bird food. Actually, it's Honey Nut Cheerios. So you can put Cheerios on your pipe cleaner. I started one. I have all my Cheerios here. It's great for hand and eye coordination. Put those Cheerios, just put them on, add them up. Take your time. Oh, there's a big bunch. Add some Cheerios. And then when you get it done, you could loop it together and hang it outside on a tree branch and see if the birds will come eat it. If you have a tree branch that's close to a window, you'll be able to see how they do it. And since it's the month of February, some people were making them and you saw it, you'll see it on your sheet. I'm gonna lose all my Cheerios. You were making them into a heart shape. So string on your Cheerios. All right, let's go this way. Just string them on there. It's just like putting beads on a string. Keep going till you get it full and you can twist it into a heart. Maybe I can twist it into a heart. Anyway, you get the idea and hang up a heart for the birds to eat. You can try three different kinds. You can do whatever you want, putting your Honey Nut Cheerios on the pipe cleaners and hang them outside for the birds to have a snack. And then if you wanted to, I have the brown crinkle paper that you can put in and make a sensory bin. They also used, with that brown crinkle paper, they cut their pipe cleaners into little worm shapes and hid them inside the crinkle paper. So maybe you'd like to do that. It's your choice. Go through it and see what you have. Cheerios, crinkle paper, um, pipe cleaners, I spy birds, and all kinds of fun. Okay. Don't forget, stop and pick up a grab and go bag anytime. And one more thing. Oh my gosh, I'm going so long here today. This month, Sierra is doing some family fun things with birds. It's called Early Birds and Night Owls. This is this week's grab and go bag. She has a bag with some fun things that you can do as a family. It says you'll have a feeder you can make. There are some book or bird identification books. And then there is some activity pages in the bag and prizes. Each week there will be an activity for you and your family to do and then return to the library. When you return these activities to the library, you will get points towards a prize. So it is important that you participate. Each week will be a different bag. Stop into the library, say you want the um, early bird and night owl bag and do the activities. You could get a prize at the end of the month. And I know there's also going to be a backyard bird count. <gasps> February is just a whole month for birds. So come to the library, get some bird things, 
get toddler story time, get Sierra's family birds, and have a lot of fun. It's time for me to go, so we need to do our goodbye song. Let's see if I can remember how to do it, because I get things all mixed up. This, this hand. Goodbye, friend. Oops, I mixed up already. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Have a great day and I'll see you later.